What's good, my fat cats and pack rats? There's a situation going on here. So, if you guys didn't already know, I'm from the Seattle area. A little bit more north of Seattle, but I am in the ish, like storm right now. Like we are the center of this craze, this corona craze, uh, COVID-19 if you will. And this thing is freaking people out and they are, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't, wouldn't be surprised if there's people in shelters at this point. Um, I, in the meantime, traffic's been amazing because nobody's out on the roads. Uh, shopping is kind of lonely and sad because there's nobody in the stores right now. Uh, I would love to say that there's more thrift deals because of it, but I ain't found nothing. Uh, just in case any of you were concerned, I'm just fine, at least right now, unless I'm in an incubation period, then we'll find out in a couple weeks. Uh, <laughs> wish us all luck here, guys, in Washington. Um, there has been some serious people affected by this virus uh, and others that recover pretty quickly. For those that have been affected, uh, obviously, our thoughts go out to those families. And, uh, and that's it. Just a quick thing on the crazy coronavirus. Uh, let's get on to the video. We are here today because I have been challenged. That's right, I didn't stutter. Someone challenged me. This is my friend War Train, and if you guys haven't checked out his channel yet, do it. It's War Train Wins on YouTube. I was challenged to a challenge. Allow myself to introduce myself. Which I will accept said challenge. This is three games that I will never get rid of in my collection and three games I don't mind if they sail away. I'm sailing away. I'm gonna tell you up front, this video is controversial. I mean, maybe not really, but for YouTube's sake, this video is controversial. So don't click away, finish the video. For whatever you do today, at least complete this thing. And subscribe, because if you don't, bad things will happen to you. How do I get this thing going? We're gonna start this off by the games that I will never let go in my collection. If you have been watching my YouTube channel, then you guys probably know what a lot of these are. Uh, maybe they're a surprise to some of you, maybe not. But stick around and find out. I'll go with the first obvious one because I can't stop ever talking about it. Uh, and I kind of cheated with this war train, so I'm sorry, brother. But I did pick kind of like franchises that I would keep and get rid of because I love all of the video games that are part of the franchises. Well, not all of them, but most of them. So for the first one that I would never get rid of is my Street Fighter collection. Now, that's not all of them, but I just wanted to grab some just for dramatic effect. So we've got uh, Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 3, Street Fighter 4, Street Fighter 5. Um, I haven't loved all of these, but as a series, I absolutely love these and I will not part with these games. Um, man, ever since I was in, I want to say, fourth or fifth grade is when I really fell in love with it with Super Street Fighter. Ken is my guy. Sorry if you don't like Ken. He's my boy. Attack me if you dare, I will crush you! Fighting game series have never been the same since Street Fighter came on uh, on the scene and Capcom did a fantastic job with it for sure. So, uh, my favorite out of the series, I played a lot of four, but so far I've been a huge fan of uh, Street Fighter 3 and my all time favorite is Street Fighter Alpha series. That's the one I rented from the local video store over and over and over again until my mom finally bought it because she had spent so much time uh, renting that sucker from the video store. So thanks mom for making me a Street Fighter fan for life. That would be the first one I'd never get rid of. 
Next one, I actually did an interview with Cheap Korean Retro. So if you guys get a chance, check out his uh, YouTube. He uh, and I talk about some of our favorite games and I talked about uh, God of War being in the series. So my first one's Street Fighter. Second one is God of War. Uh, number one, God of War. Number two, God of War 3. This is the remastered, by the way. Um, it originally came out on PS3. And then God of War 4, but they just self-titled God of War. These series have been amazing. Like epic, epic lore and storytelling. And I have been a fan ever since I put uh, God of War 1 in. So, uh, spoiler alert. Come back in like five minutes if you don't want to hear this. The first one, he kills Ares, the god of war. It's amazing. Number two, he comes back after Zeus because he's pissed off that he never took away his uh, his memories of killing his family. Uh, god of War 3, there's a scene in this where you absolutely destroy Zeus and it is uh, really brutal. If you get a chance, you need to check it out because it, it'll give you nightmares. Uh, and then God of War 4 takes it away from Greek mythology and brings you into Nordic mythology and that is a very, very cool world to explore. So, God of War, that's staying in that collection, this collection, my collection, forever. Last but not least, one of my favorite of all time. Uh, I was addicted to it since it hit the PlayStation 1 and that is Metal Gear Solid. Um, the Metal Gear Solid story has gone kind of all over the place, but this game in particular, I will not get rid of. Um, Metal Gear meant so much. I mean, this is the first time I did strategy guides. This is the first time uh, that I kind of found myself staying up till three or four o'clock in the morning to get this game done uh, and finished. So uh, this is the original PlayStation Black label, Metal Gear. And then they came out with a special edition that had one, two, and three. Um, this is for the PlayStation, even though it's in a PlayStation 2 looking box, as you can tell, it says PlayStation um, only. And then they remastered it technically with new control schemes from Metal Gear Solid 2 with Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes. And this is my favorite Metal Gear game out of everything for a couple reasons. I love the GameCube controller, so I prefer to play with, with that. And it has all the mechanics from number two where you can do first person uh, of your gun. Um, and then also Snake had the ability to kind of climb on ledges and things he wasn't able to do before. Uh, but this is a intricate, crazy ass story. Um, I know with your codec, which is kind of your communication uh, between people in the game, sometimes it feels like you're reading that forever, but it was like one of the coolest uh, things I'd ever seen in a video game. Uh, and the character acting and voice acting and man, everything. So there you go. There are three that I will not get rid of in my collection. Now on to the juicy stuff. Friends that know me will not be surprised by these three franchises that I, I don't mind leaving the collection. So uh, I'm gonna start here first and go with Destiny. Uh, I didn't get into Destiny 1. I heard Destiny 2 uh, got better. I heard that they added a lot of things to Destiny 1 to make it worth your time but I never jumped on the Destiny bandwagon. Um, I loved Halo, and when the guys from Bungie brought this uh, on, I was stoked and I played it for a couple hours, and I just didn't get into it. I didn't enjoy it, I wasn't having a lot of fun, um, and I kinda just skipped the series. I just let it go. So at this time, if this was to just disappear out of the collection, I wouldn't miss it at all. So for those that love Destiny, I apologize. Next. There are people that absolutely love this game. In fact, one of my very, very good friends, he adores this game and he got a tattoo on his arm because of it. So I apologize, John. But Dark Souls, Demon Souls, and I have Dark Souls too, but I didn't even care to find it. I've never been a fan of this uh, purposefully difficult, uh, permadeath crap. Um, I guess it's not permadeath, but you lose everything when you die and you have to rebuild your character back up. Um, people see it as a challenge. I see it as an annoyance. I don't have a lot of fun with it. Um, I don't 
particularly think that the gameplay is that interesting. Um, I do like the aesthetic of where Dark Souls was, and I enjoy, um, you know, the world that it creates, but I, I put some time into it, and I couldn't find myself enjoying the Dark Souls, Demon Souls uh, series, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry to those that absolutely love this series. It is not something that is in my wheelhouse, uh, nor that I enjoy. So if this disappeared out of my collection tomorrow, I could tell you I wouldn't really miss it either. Uh, there you go. Last but not least, and this one might be a shocker. I have tried so many times to get into these games and I can't do it. And of course, I have an issue with RPGs, which kind of makes sense with some of the games and, and, and the way that you grind through this stuff. But I still, to this day, am not a Fallout fan. Uh, I know Fallout New Vegas is supposed to be epic. Uh, Fallout 3 was fantastic. People like Fallout 4, though it's not the best in the series. And then I know the, the newest Fallout 76 just like, it went down in flames really quick, uh, which hasn't really given me a lot of excitement to jump back into the series and try it again. If someone came into my game room and they took all of my Fallout stuff, which I don't have a lot, I would come in here looking for games and I probably wouldn't miss it until someone says, hey, do you have Fallout? Uh, it just wasn't my cup of tea. Um, I don't know why. I want to enjoy it. The post-apocalyptic stuff seems really cool. Um, you know, I, I want to be excited for this game. I just cannot get myself to get into this stuff. So if this disappeared, I wouldn't even care. I would just lick a lollipop and move on with my life. Uh, do you guys agree? Do you disagree? with the games that I would keep in my collection uh, or games that uh, I wouldn't mind getting rid of. And please, change my mind. This challenge was very difficult, Mr. Wartrain, uh, and it does suck to have to pull some of your favorites uh, since I have a lot. But even to get rid of this stuff, these are just ones that I just couldn't find a connection with. If you also dislike these games, let me know down in the comments why. If you love these games, I really wanna hear from you guys. So please, in the comments, let me know, why am, I, uh, why am I wrong? Why should I give it another chance? Why would these games be worth my time? And what did I possibly miss by not getting further in the game that I would enjoy? Thank you. Guys, if you, if you enjoy my content, you like what I got going on, please hit that subscribe button. It means the world to me. Also, we've got our uh, podcast available. It is the Real Awkward Podcast on Spotify, and you can catch us also on our YouTube channel if you wanna see our pretty faces. Uh, and then I also have my Instagram if you guys wanna check out more gaming content. I take more pictures uh, and uh, do content of the gaming room if you guys want to see more of the collection I have in here. So, until we meet again and I get to see your pretty faces, I'll talk to you guys laters. Bye.